Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I've been MIA. As some of you guys know, it's been a lot of crazy shit going down in my city these last few days. So I've had to attend to a lot of real world stuff. So I just didn't have time to come and shoot any videos and all that stuff. But thank you guys to everybody who's aware of this situation, who sent me prayers and well wishes and all that good stuff. I won't go into details, but the people who reached out to me, you guys know who you are. Um, so anyways, a lot of people have been wanting me to talk about the whole Nicki Minaj situation. So if you guys don't know, it's been a lot of drama brewing. And before all this mess went down a few days ago, I was keeping up with everything um, cause I noticed her and Meg Thee Stallion have gotten real close and they were on Instagram live together. Then it was announced that they were coming out with a song and then the single dropped and then, uh, they're supposed to be doing a music video. Oh, 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 all right, you know what? First of all, you running, you running the video in the overtime, and I want your label. I, am, okay, I want um, your label to know that ain't got shit to do with me. But everybody, all the uh, my hotties and my Barbies, we love y'all so much. And it's we, a hot Barbie and summer. We, we thank you guys for supporting the storm. We love y'all. We We're love you for everything. We love you. been so loyal to us and we love you and we about to and do our thing with the video just to you to, to show it to you and megan is drunk but i'm not don't let her lie to y'all okay we're gonna that call y'all back we're gonna call y'all back when nikki uh i her act and save your life don't forget to save it because you know my fans will hurt oh hit it 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 and shortly after that, over the weekend, Trina posted the love be so fake and the hate be so real. So of course, when she posted that, the internet was set ablaze and people were whispering like, okay, is Trina throwing shots at Nicki? Does she feel some type of way about Nicki Minaj and you know what I'm saying, Meg Thee Stallion's relationship, what's going on? So we left it alone. And then like the next day, Nicki posted a picture of her and Kenneth Zupetti, who is her soon to be husband. And so basically, Nikki posted the picture of her on her guy's lap and people started dragging her like, why are you dating this dude? He's a rapist, he's a killer. You know, folks were just going in on her. So Nikki got really upset. And so she went off in the hashtag. She changed the tag and she says this. Shout out to hashtag black girl tragic. I mean black girl magic. Never forget there are 7 billion people in this world, but you chose to interrupt your important life to go onto another black girl's page to project your own insecurities. Hashtag kiss my ass and my anus. Shout out to my bad bitches though. Hashtag hot girl summer. Link in my bio. Hashtag queen radio. And then she announced that she'd be going on the radio the next day at noon. That hashtag black girl tragic is dedicated to black families to share their stories of loved ones that they have lost or are missing. So a lot of folks were really upset with her and they're saying, you know what, you're exploiting this hashtag, how dare you? It wasn't meant for you and your soon-to-be husband, it was a real hashtag. So at that point on Queen Radio, Nicki Minaj went off about the situation. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Black girl tragic, My and it's black bitches that do, do it the most. And I don't give a fuck if y'all mad at me using that fucking hashtag. All right, so you guys just saw what Nicki Minaj had to say about the hashtag. So now that's just a part of all the drama that went down. So then during that podcast, she decided to have Joe Button, Rory, and Mal come on to Queen Radio. And at that point, she was basically confronting mainly Joe Button about the things that he said about her on his podcast, um, how he, you know, disrespected her, how Charlamagne, The Breakfast Club, how all these dudes basically started a Nicki Minaj hate train and how they came for her. And Nikki was not here for the foolishness. She went off. She cussed out Joe. The whole situation was crazy. Like I said, she also addressed the Breakfast Club. And they are also reacting to that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys all these snippets um, of the back and forth with her and Joe Budden, the Breakfast Club, and what they had to say about the situation. This is going to be a full breakdown, honey. So make sure y'all have y'all's teacups. So go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I've <laughs> <laughs> been checked out of this shit. <laughs> Why you checked out, Joe? You're not talking about nothing. 
You know what, Joe? I never realized how childish you were until today. Nick, don't know How you going to say, how you going to say I ain't talking about nothing you just not. because you got caught in a couple lies? You not saying I, I'm, I, look, I need you to rise above and today. I, that's what I need you to rise above. I need you to rise above and speak truth. Speak truth first. I asked you a direct question. If you, you, you know what? If you asked me something where you thought I had lied or misled the public about something about you, and I and it turned out to not be true, I would say, damn, if I did that, even unknowingly, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Because I'm on a platform that can really hurt you or hurt your image, and I lied about you several times, and it's a proven lie. So I would say, you know what, whoever it is, whether it was you or anybody, mm -hmm. out of respect, I apologize. Huh? Well, since he's maybe not speaking, I'll say to the drug use thing, on some of your personal records, You've made reference to a few Every, of those and, and what rapper hasn't? Of course, no, no. I'm not and this is not even whether or not you do or don't. Album did it, does, it doesn't. Other it's other not a matter if you do or you don't that. do drugs. Why it's a matter of about, people, she certain talk, people she being she called out who about past it. Is littered with it. Who gives a fuck what she popped? But don't sit here and say you ain't popped a fucking pill. I never said that. An apple. I never you said that you dumb fuck. I never said that you dumb fuck. Don't do that, nigga. Are you are you that fucking dumb? Are you that fucking dumb? You ain't hear what the fuck I said? You asked Cut me. Cut his fucking mic. Since he want to be fucking dumb. Now you want to be fucking dumb, nigga. Now you want to be fucking dumb. Stupid ass. Damn, I didn't think it was, I didn't want to go that yeah, way. I, I, fuck is wrong with you? Anybody, play it back. Play, play it back. Did I say that? No. S say what exactly? Everyone was yelling. Fuck I wrong with you? <laughs> she never said she yelling. didn't do it. She exactly. Okay, I've never okay, said okay, that in my okay, life. Got you, got you, got you. So what the fuck is this nigga talking about? He he think that he's and he's he, he he's so used to thinking he's the smartest person in the fucking room. Okay. And not allowing people to speak, and then when you find that you're wrong about some shit, not saying, "Damn, I was wrong." I, I you know maybe maybe I I did the most. Maybe I you know jumped out the window. Maybe I I did cause people to think or certain negative things about you, or maybe I did say things about you that were proven wrong. Mm. Forget drugs. I just gave you two examples where you said something that was not true about me and you still riding with it. Okay. Fair enough. I agree. Because she had Joe Button on and apparently Joe Button had been spreading lies about Nicki Minaj. So she mm -hmm. addressed him face to face. You said that. many times that I lied that I didn't know another bitch was on a song I was on. Here's my question And now you, you. want to dress it. Can I ask a question See? now? Was Nicki Minaj and Cardi B on the motorsport record directing bars at each other? What the f***? You're not going to change the subject. I'm asking you a f***ing question. That's the same subject. No, the f*** is not. I said I knew the bitch was on a song. You said she she didn't know she was on a song. Nick, I don't believe Just, that I said that if you want to be honest. Oh, my God. Believe that Nicki Minaj was a tree. You believe that Nicki Minaj <laughs> was aware that Cardi B was the No. Do you have a twin? Drop on a clues bomb for Nicki Minaj. <laughs> yeah, Nicki played that. Well, she she had that ready. Hey, when she's she was right, getting the right. audio ready. I love she Nicki had her homework Cue ready. it up. When she's right, she's right. <laughs> yeah, nothing you can do about that when she got you there, buddy. All yep. right, now, Nicki Minaj also talked about how Joe Button accused her of being on drugs. It's okay for you to get up there and make me sound crazy and say I'm on drugs, right? Oh, Please, I wish people knew I was most, I'm, I'm most comfortable in the most uncomfortable predicament. And so am I. I and what the f you won't do is disrespect me like I'm never, stupid. Because you know how intelligent uh, and powerful I am, like you said, right? I'm my, so powerful, or, right, Joe? Or because my mother raised me properly. Oh, so your mother raised you to accuse people of being on drugs? That's what your mother raised you to? Your mother raised oh, you. you your mother raised you. Yeah, yeah, you got, yeah, here. taste you of your own mother medicine, mother. Well, yeah, like you like you talking like talking people about people not and not having nobody responding. It's you like you fun. like tearing it's down people's fun. character when they can't respond, and That's when they well, you like tearing down women when they can't defend yeah. themselves. Woo. Damn. All right. Well, wow. shout out to, to Mama Button too, man. She's a very very pleasant woman. Well, did they ever talk about? Is she, was she doing drugs tonight? Well, we're gonna get to that uh -huh. right now. Who gives a f what she popped? But don't sit here and say you ain't popped a. F Pill, I never said that. An apple. I never you said that, you dumb f I, I never said that, you dumb f Don't do that. You, are, you, are you that f dumb? You asked Cut his f mic. Drop on the clues bombs for Nicki Minaj. That is a very, uh...
that, like when you can't say somebody's on drugs, but then ask them if they've ever popped a pill, because it's the difference in being on drugs and popping a pill. I've smoked cocaine before. She but said I'm she's not never sniffed cocaine. cocaine or nothing. You smoke like that. cocaine? Yeah, I smoked it in a blunt with some weed back in the day. But I mean, I, I've done it before, so you can't oh. say have, you can't say you've never popped a pill. Mm -hmm. But then accuse somebody of being on drugs. It's the difference of doing something once and do, actually being on something. Well, his mic definitely got cut. At that Ooh. moment, and he did go on Twitter, and he wrote spicy. And then he wrote, I live for this ish. I love Nicki Minaj. What else we got? And then Nicki Minaj <laughs> said, we still recording your show, right? I'm ready. So she was ready for that. And she did actually go and do his show as well. Now, here's where she gets to the really spicy parts. And this has to do with Charlemagne teaming up with Safari. Oh, my God. One of the people who led that movement was Charlemagne. He teamed mm. up with an ex of mine who knew he needed to hang on to me to, to get attention. He went over there and said many, many lies about me, and I couldn't say anything because I was in a relationship at that time. And so Charlemagne fed into that because at the time, there was another female rapper that everybody was pushing and Remy hoping Ma. that if she put out a diss, she went, once she put out a diss record on me, Nicki Minaj would disappear. And when they saw that didn't happen, then they put that energy into someone else. Cardi B. It's never been about them liking another female rapper. It's just about them wanting to see, do I have enough power to get Nicki Minaj out of here? I love Nicki Minaj. If she That's so true. If, She's if, right. If she really wants to believe that it's a group of men sitting in the conference room with her face on the screen plotting on how to stop her, then God bless her. But that's it's not, not a group of men. I don't think it's she just meant you and Safari. that people yeah. were sitting around plotting, but she probably felt like, damn, everybody's coming it. at me. Here's the I thing. believe it. Nikki I and believe I, it. Gotta be a plan. Nikki and I have had conversations about this via phone calls, via text message. We've had these discussions about this hate train. It's not true. If she wants to believe that and wants her, her fans to believe that, it's cool. Now, Safari, in a, in a wild case of events... Envy clearly chose the side. He chose Safari okay. over Nikki, and now him and Safari aren't even on the best of terms. Well, you know what? Let's get into some more of what Nikki had to say because both of you guys. Don't you change the subject, ye? No, I'm bringing it back. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pick a side. I'm bringing it ahead. back. Go. Oh. All, All the people that went out y'all way to hurt me for no reason, I hope and pray that you write with God because let me tell you something it will come back a billion times worse. And that's not a threat, that's a fact. I will say that I'm not addressing men anymore. My husband will address y'all. Y'all address my husband if y'all got an issue with me because he's dying to want to address y'all. Just know that will see you face to face. And shout out to the ghost writers. If you a ghost writer and you writing, and you writing lyrics about me, will see you. I'm going to tell you something. Speaking of coming back, Safari and Envy's headlines both came back after they stopped messing with Nikki. I think, <laughs> shut it's, something, up, man. I think it's something to be said about that. It was shut up, man. Ooh, all right, well, Envy, you also got to dress because you just hit Nikki up the other day. You sure did. I can't believe you. And y'all were supposedly friends. Y'all both from Queens. I don't know what happened. Behind all that other stuff, it's a human being. And when there's a big hate train and that people like you and Charlemagne and people like that <gasps> are spearheading get to get to that, and people like DJ Envy who was sending text messages today but who was one of the people who I thought was my friend I agree. who was up there DJ trying Envy to... has never said a bad word about a soul That's a life. lie. Yeah, that's, that's not true. true. You're not Talking serious, about. are you? I'm with you, I Nikki. I always thought he was one of, my, one of my friends and then all of a sudden it was just a, a lot of things and I couldn't believe it. Like, that was the one thing that I was just floored. I was just like, whoa. You know who did stay down with Nikki throughout all this, though? Who? Cool. Clue. Honey. All right, so you guys just saw what Nicki Minaj had to say about the situation. You guys also saw the Breakfast Club's response as well. So I just love how everybody was pussy popping. Uh, uh, I'm back peddling. Ew, ew. I just love it. I, I love it. And see, that's why, bitch, I keep receipts. So why a lot of y'all want to spread rumors and say that I've never had Nicki Minaj's back and I hate Nicki and all this fugazi bullshit, bitch, okay? Um, I think I was one of the few YouTubers who called out DJ Envy around that time. I remember it clearly like yesterday. Picture it. Sicily, 1922. DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God were talking about basically boycotting Nicki Minaj's uh, music from the radio. They wanted all the DJs to come together and boycott her music. This is her same homeboy from Queens. So now he's trying to backpedal and text her and act like it's all good. But lovely TT got the damn receipts. So Y'all go ahead and watch this flashback of me calling out DJ Envy and the Breakfast Club for their BS against Nicki Minaj. But again, let y'all tell it. I've never had Nicki Minaj's back. I'm just, you know, I'm so mean to Nikki and all this foo-foo shit. That's why I make sure every time y'all write bullshit, y'all get blocked. Welcome to my block list. 
I'll block you, bitch. Because I've had her back numerous times. Like I always say, right is right, wrong is wrong. Go ahead and watch this flashback and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. Enough. Another thing that went down is that while Nicki Minaj was going off on DJ Self, she also threatened to bring some goons to the radio station. And at that point, DJ Envy's emotional ass decided to take to Power 105 to say that all the DJs in New York should ban Nicki Minaj from the radio because of her threatening DJ Self. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this Breakfast Club clip. This entire situation was just a hot damn mess. Go ahead and check this out. I, play. Hmm. I just don't like the threat. Like, like you know, you know, Nicki can have an opinion on Self. Self can have his opinion on Nikki, but when you start saying I got hungry N words that's gonna come up there now. Nah, that's that's yeah, that's the problem. So, so all the are all the that's the problem. That. Are all the DJs gonna form like Voltron and stop playing our records? I don't want y'all to absolutely. Do this I'm gonna have a conversation oh, with oh, Self oh, first. I'm gonna have a conversation with Self. Oh. Absolutely, they being honest on the mic. Oh, oh, absolutely, Evan, you from Queens? I don't care. You don't threaten no DJ over over his opinion. Now, if 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 Self says something foul and disrespectful, then yeah, it's all good. But not over his opinion. Oh. If his opinion is this, and then all of a sudden you gonna send somebody to come see him, nah. But I'm going to have a conversation with some. All right. So you guys just heard what DJ Envy scary berry ass had to say. First of all, DJ Envy, I'm going to need you to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. This whole boycott of Nicki Minaj's music is only coming out because Nicki Minaj did not give The Breakfast Club that interview. Had she went to The Breakfast Club, he wouldn't have gave a fuck about DJ Self getting threatened, okay? They have rappers on their show all the time who threaten people, who rap about killing other black folks. But yet and still, DJ Envy has no problem with that. He does not say boycott any of these black male rappers who sit here and threaten each other on social media, who sit here and act a fool, you know what I'm saying, who have even confronted him and Charlemagne on the breakfast club stand me I knew a few places you was at I could have pulled up but I don't think that was gangster I wanted to come look you in your face like a man and tell you how I feel okay you understand me straight up like a man so no what's the shit, issue no sugar. ain't no issue if it was an issue you don't, you'll feel me I just come to let y'all know stop put some respect on my name you understand me? When y'all saying did, my name, put some respect on it. Did you did you pull up on Ross that way or Trick Daddy? Man, I'm pulling up on you, nigga. He's never threatened to boycott any of these people, but now that it comes to Nicki Minaj, he wants all the DJs to boycott them. To me, this is self-serving. He's just in his feelings because Nicki Minaj decided to do an interview with their so-called enemy, Funkmaster Flex, okay? Had she not done that interview with Hot 97, DJ Envy would not have gave a damn, okay? It's only because she went to Hot 97 and gave them that exclusive that he's all of a sudden in his feelings, that he's all of a sudden the moral authority, and all of a sudden he's now against, you know, DJs being threatened and everything else. You know, where is the same energy when male rappers you know act a fool and they do things that are unbecoming you have nothing to say about that but now when it comes to Nicki Minaj you want her music banned from the radio boy bye the only thing you can control DJ Envy is yourself so if you don't want to hear Nicki Minaj's album if you don't want to support her album the next time you do a house party or you do a club event then at that point in time you have the right to choose not to play Nicki Minaj's music okay but while you're on power 105 you have absolutely no control of that and her music will continue to get spins on your radio station because you're not the owner you're an employee okay so now if that's not crazy enough um trina's a and r his, his name is reginald saunders and basically he called out Nicki minaj he says that Nicki minaj um basically played trina they had a song coming out called baps and basically he feels like Nicki minaj is very manipulative she wasn't supportive of um trina she didn't give trina the same respect that she gave you know meg the stallion and other artists um reggie saunders is also known for just basically speaking his mind here goes a video that he posted 29 weeks ago back on January 15th. He posted it, but this, you know, what he said back then kind of fits with what's going on with today's narrative. So y'all go ahead and check that out. I wanted to ask a question this morning. What kind of supporter are you? Are you the kind of supporter that you actually edify your friends and your family? Or are you the kind of person that get up on social media and you skip and stroll past your friends and you go to people that you have no attachment with and you just leave all of these comments? You go up under all of the celebrities' pages and you like, hey, hey, you look good, this, that, and the third, but you never, ever, ever support the people that's around you? What kind of supporter are you? Do you think you're really, really, really supportive by helping, you know, brand somebody else that's really, really close to you? Or are you so busy trying to be up under some celebrity's ass? That's the question of the day. How supportive are you to your friends and family or the people that are around you to help them to win? I want y'all to answer that question. 
All right, so you guys just saw what Reggie Saunders had to say. So basically, he's really upset. Um, he called Nicki Minaj a deceiver and a manipulator and says basically, you know, he just was not feeling how Trina was treated. So he says, I want to address the issue so bad about the BAPS record and video. It's taking everything inside of me to remain quiet. This isn't the first time Nicki Minaj has pulled this stunt, and trust me, it's cool. I can't get over how fake people can be for a little bit of fame, like for a little bit of fame, likes, and followers. When everyone tries to warn me, I still gave her the benefit of the doubt. I can't wait to see how all of this is about to play out because you can't stop karma's reign. Shame on you. I mostly feel sorry for the barbs because they have no clue of the deceiver and the manipulator their leader is. I got time today. I'm not about to be quiet. And then he goes, hashtag my vote goes to Cardi B. Um, So... You know, that whole situation was just nuts. So, of course, a lot of people were going off. People felt like, why are you dragging Cardi into this? This has nothing to do, you know, with Trina or Nikki or Meg. Um, and then on top of that, he also went on video and he also had a few more things to say. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out as well. All right, so I do want to say um, thank you to all of the people that have been supportive to my last post. Rather, had it been uh, negative or positive, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but also I do want to say that I did do an interview to where I will be speaking the facts on why I said what I said on my last post. Um, I'm not just speaking off of speculation. I'm not just speaking off of guessing and assuming I'm speaking off of facts. So if, if those facts can be turned around and showed to me as a lie, then I'll take an L for it. But I do want to say I know that I'm about to change the game for what I did because now there will be a lot of inspiring artists uh, to now know and be more knowledgeable that when they do a collaboration with another artist that they make sure that they work with an artist that's going to be 100% supportive of that song. Don't do a song with me and then you can't perform it when it's time to do a show. Don't do a song with me when it's time to do the video and then you can't be fully supportive. Don't do a song with me if you can't post it on your page. Like, I think these artists need to know that and that's how I'm going to change the game. All right, so you guys just saw what Reginald Saunders had to say. So later on yesterday, Reginald did an interview with Funky Dineva. So here goes a small snippet from that interview. I don't want nobody to think that I'm being bitter, okay? Mm -hmm. But when you look at the facts of everything, if you're an artist, if you are any artist, I don't give a damn if who you are, doing business and moving forward with any artist, if you don't want to do the video with the artist, then don't do the song. I am addressing it because as we sit back and we watch, everybody is watching, everybody is looking at it, they're hitting me up, they like, damn, well, tell me why Nikki ain't got the same kind of energy with Trina stuff. Mm -hmm. Like she posted, she posted the fucking the album cover on her story. Mm -hmm. You you posted it on your story. Why didn't you post it on your page? You gave twenty four hours of promotion to for, for for a song that you're on and you're a part of. Mm -hmm. That was like kind of like sidebar shady mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. You wanna, and, then, and then on top of that. You drop Megatron on the same day that the album comes out. You come from out of the woodworks, from out of nowhere, where you were, and now you got a date and all of this stuff for for the Megatron project. Mm. Like so, so all of this stuff is the things that people don't know that was going on in the back. And of course, you know, I, I'm not putting the pressure on Trina, but I mean, every everybody feels some kind of way. Mm -hmm. Not and, 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 and people thinking that people thinking that it, oh, you want to use Nikki for clout. No, we wasn't trying to use Nikki for clout. We had a great fucking song. Mm -hmm. we, we had a great song to put it out. So it was like, then all of this stuff going on and it just make you feel like, damn, like I was already warned about this shit, but I still believed in girl. All right. So you guys just heard that snippet here. So, you know, it's been a lot of mess going on with this situation. Then Trina's cousin, Bobby Lights, who we all know is from Love & Hip Hop Miami, he ended up getting involved because he said basically he's tired of the barbs dragging him. You know, they're a very negative fan base. And, you know, he was just speaking a lot of his truth. So he's upset about the whole situation. He feels like his cousin's not going to say anything. So he's going to go to bat for Trina. I want you guys to go ahead and watch Bobby Lights' rant. Check this out. Barbs that literally be in my DM like, oh, I don't count. I'm not like the rest of them. I like you too, la, 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 la. And shout out to all those barbs because there are barbs out there that do fuck with me. There are bars out there that do fuck with me. I can't lie. Y'all really do show me a lot of love. So I'm not talking about all the bars, but the bars that come on my page with all that negativity, be gone.
gone, Satan, bitch. I rebuke you. Stay the fuck away from me while that negativity. Because one thing y'all can never dig up is things that I say. Today, I'm saying it out of my mouth. Now you're finally hearing me say these things. But you can never dig up a tweet. You can I only insinuate things and I tweet certain things. And guess what? Y'all start saying what I'm talking about. Y'all start saying what I'm mad about. Y'all start saying, oh, he's so mad because of this. He's just mad because of this. The reason why is because y'all fucking guilty and y'all know the reason y'all damn self. Y'all know the reason y'all damn motherfucking selves. Y'all see it? Bitch, Trina Ben asked her for a video for Bass. Ben, you try to take it a whole bunch of other routes talking about, oh, what's the budget for radio? What's, the, what's it going to be for this? Asking all these questions when you should have just did the video because you know that the Barb's going to want to see the video. You know that the Rockstars are going to want to see a video. Why not give them the video? Why? Because you're motherfucking being shady. I can't find no other motherfucking reason why. Now, I have a couple friends also, two in particular that I'm thinking about, that I know is probably going to be like, bitch, why did you make this live? Because y'all go hard for Nikki. I'm sorry. I had to do it because it's the fucking bars. They drive me to where the fuck I'm at today right now. And I'm sick of it. I don't give a fuck. Y'all bars stay on my motherfucking pay for that bullshit, but really think I give a fuck. I'm letting y'all know today. Today is a declaration to all the fucking barbs. When you come on my page with all that trolling and you come on my page with all that stand shit, I don't give a flying fuck. I motherfucking getting rich, bitch. I don't give a fuck about what y'all got going on. I got other shit to worry about. A lot of shit to worry about. So when you sit there and you ask me, what the fuck do I do? What does he do? Just No, bitch, I'm not canceled. I'm on my third season of Love and Hip Hop Miami. I'm about to do movies, bitch. I'm working on a major contract with another major deal that I'm about to be connected with with Clear Vision. You are fucking sleep on me. I'm writing some of your fave songs because that's what I do songwrite also. Are you guys stupid? I have shit to worry about. I have a skincare line that's about to drop. I have shit that I got to worry about. So when y'all bitches come on my page with all that negativity, talking shit y'all don't know about, it really, really irks me at the same time. I never hardly address it. Sometimes I do. I am a commenter back. I comment back on you bitches. I say a lot of funny little things, but I really don't speak my mind. Today is me speaking my mind because I will not address this shit no more. I will never, ever, ever address you bums ever fucking again. And that's my, that's on everything. Stay. The person that I learned from, and by the way, people on your team, boo, <laughs> everybody talks on your team. Everybody that you've worked with talks. Do you not know who I am? Do you not know who I be around? Like, I be around people and they tell me all the things. And I've spoken to a lot of people, actually. And I won't mention no names, but I speak in, I've spoken to a lot of people that have had close relations with that woman. And they all say the same thing. Okay? So I don't want to be affiliated or get to know or, or, or give my praise and attention to someone that's, that, doesn't, that doesn't appreciate it. She's blatantly looked me in my eyes and, like, has fucking giving me moments where she literally was like throwing shade she probably don't recognize she probably don't remember but that's just the fucking characteristics this woman has so at the end of the day i don't give a fuck no more i'm done talking about it you guys can leave me the fuck alone okay i don't have to be her fan um i will continue listening to her music if it comes on in the club i don't download her music i don't have, i don't stream and support people's shit that i don't fucking support in real life period that's what's wrong with y'all bitches y'all mad that i'm saying that so, that's your motherfucking queen. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can, I wish I could rewind. For y'all, those of y'all just joining, I wish I could rewind and hear what I said in the beginning. Like I said, I never had an issue with her. But the barbs are the, is the reason, I'm saying it right now, the barbs is the reason why I can never, ever, ever, ever be a stand for that woman, okay? All right, so y'all just heard Bobby Light's ranting and raving, honey. So after that went viral, Nicki Minaj was caught liking a shady tweet, honey. That one of her bar was posted and Bobby Light's went off, okay? So this is the tweet that she liked in. And so this is what Bobby had to say. So Bobby says, bitch, you are homophobic and act like you aren't because if you did, we all know your career is over. You won't capitalize off my gay sissy faggot ass. Sorry, Miss Mamas. And then he goes on to say, and for the little threat about niggas seeing me, first let me say this. First let me say I'm from Dade County. I'm from the bottom. And I don't see nan nigga. I also got brothers that just got out of prison too. I got hella niggas that's willing to see other niggas too. Now what the fuck is good? Then he proceeded to play this video as well. So this drama is just getting crazy. Y'all go ahead and check this out.
All right, so you guys just heard what Bobby Lights had to say. So after that, um, Nicki Minaj also dressed the entire situation on Queen Radio. And basically she's saying that, you know, there's a difference between promoting an album, which she did. She did shout out Trina, just like she shouted out Chance the Rapper and other people. Um, and there's a difference between that and jumping on somebody's single and working on a single with Meg Thee Stallion. And so this is what Nicki Minaj had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And that's that on that. Sometimes I think in this industry, our feelings get hurt because we're human. And when you see me saying, um, well, is there a budget for radio? Is there a budget for this? Is there a budget for that? Before we decide to, to shoot to shoot a video. And then you see me shoot a video of Megan The Stallion. And I'm not saying this is from Trina because this is not from her, Trina's mouth. This is from her team's mouth. Maybe y'all feel like, oh, why is she shooting a video with Megan and not shooting a video with Trina? Well, it's simple. I always ask people, do you have a budget, you know, to promote the record? That's it. it. It's a business. Like, I don't understand. I'm the only one that has to just, it's no longer business. I just got to do everything. And it's like, no matter who I show love to, one, somebody's mad. I can't, you know, it, you know, it's just, it's not, it's not okay. Um, the same thing recently happened with, and by the way, that record was done like two years ago and I have the text messages where I kept on saying, hey, let's do the video now while I'm living in Miami because you know sometimes when I get busy, I get real busy and um, I got downtime, let's get it out the way. And when she dropped her album, she had a single with it. Hmm? She had a single with it. It was with an, it's another female rapper that she put the sing, single out with. So an, an album versus a single is different. That's like Dirk. Dirk dropped his album. I promoted his album. Mm -hmm. Chance dropped his album. I promoted his album. The Megan Thee Stallion thing, that's a single. So it's different. Like, I don't know how people don't see that. It's officially a single that a record company is working and putting money behind. Um... I always show the same love to anybody. Anytime I do a song with somebody, I show love just because I'm a, I, I appreciate being a part of their record. But for your team or anybody's team to feel like I owe you anything or to go out and disrespect me because I'm showing love to another female and you're not going to check them, then that's not cool. Because I dropped my own song that same day and still ask you, hey, come out, come up to Queen Radio and promote your album. These are things that I don't have to do. Every time people say things as if I, if they're entitled, I, I'm not entitled to do anything for anyone. No one does anything for me. Y'all don't go out of y'all way to stop the, the, and jump in front of the hate train for me and do all of that shit. So it's just like, whoever for your team, whoever from your team that got something to say about Onika Tanya Mirage, if they're a man, tell them to address it with my husband. <laughs> Y'all need to stop addressing me. Like, enough. Enough. It's just getting corny at this point. I, I can't ever do anything. Uh, nothing is ever enough for anybody. Ever. Like, there's literal text messages with me saying, hey, let's get the song done. Let's do the video quick. Let's get that done, done, done. You, you couldn't do it. You were doing other things. Two years went by, and then all of a sudden, my label chose a date. But I didn't want to put that song out on that date. My label chose that stupid-ass date for me. And now here I am promoting my song. What do you want me to do? And now, you know, I have my own schedule, and I also have to worry about what is going to make not only sense but dollars. I have to, like, make so many business decisions, and it's not fair that people don't understand that. And I would never have anybody from my team disrespect somebody that I know shows me nothing but love all the time and has kept it nothing but fucking real. All right, so you guys just heard what Nicki Minaj had to say. And I will say this. At the end of the day, this was Trina's project. OK, so it's Trina's job to make sure that she's promoting and doing what she has to do to get her project out there. Um, I do believe that some things were said behind the scenes. I refuse to believe that Trina's A&R just came out the blue and started blasting Nicki Minaj. I refuse to believe that Bobby Lights just came out the blue and was just in his feelings. I believe that Trina is upset. That Nicki Minaj is showing, you know, Meg Thee Stallion all this love, um, especially when Meg Thee Stallion is a new chick on the block and Trina, you know, she's 
an OG in the game. You know what I'm saying? She's done plenty of, she's done a few songs with Nicki Minaj and I've never seen them on live together. So maybe she felt some type of way about that. And the fact that she's promoting, doing the video with Meg Thee Stallion and promoting the single. And the BAP song, you know, a lot of people liked it, but it really didn't do numbers like that. It really didn't go anywhere. But like Nikki said, it's business. It's not Nikki's job to be, you know, anytime you promote something, um, a lot of times artists get paid. You know, there's a promotional budget. You know, there's things like that. When you're using a platform with millions of eyeballs and millions of ears, you know what I'm saying? You got to cut a check, you know, if you really want true promo. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Now, granted, she is on the song, but she's a feature. This is not Nicki Minaj song you know so there's a lot of shit that goes on in the industry a lot of people use people a lot of people are not real friends um but I know Bobby's like oh Trina's not gonna speak about this Trina's not gonna say anything publicly but just because Trina's not saying anything publicly does not mean that Trina is not saying stuff privately and obviously that tweet that she had posted over the weekend was definitely a dig at Nicki Minaj and Meg Thee Stallion when she's talking about the fake love and you know all that other stuff that was her way of letting her feelings out towards Nicki and Meg Thee Stallion's newfound relationship and I believe that her A&R person and her cousin Bobby Lights they ran with it you know so I definitely feel like there's a lot more said behind the scenes, but Nikki's trying to keep it professional and not really drag Trina. But I believe there is some underlying tension. Um, the whole situation is insane, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, artists like Nikki and Trina need to realize too that there are new artists out here. There's new girls, you know, they had their wave, they had their, um, you know, longevity, and they're still in the industry doing their thing. But a lot of the new generation, they're going to gear towards the newer artists, like the Meg Thee Stallions, the Cardi B's, and things like that. So I don't think she can get mad for Nikki jumping on the Meg Thee Stallion train and, you know, doing a song with her. Meg Thee Stallion is hot right now. She's doing her thing, you know, and a lot of people like her. She can rap. They have a similar style. So it made sense to see Meg Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj work together on a song. So, yeah, it is funny how people will switch up when new people come around. You know, unfortunately, that's the industry. There's a lot of fake shit that goes on, a lot of fake smiles, a lot of photo ops, you know, a lot of fake collaborations. At the end of the day, it's about getting that bag. And if you're not as hot as the last person, then you're going to be left in the dust, unfortunately. So this entire situation was nuts. It was insane. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, you guys. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning basically Nicki Minaj, you know, addressing a lot of the issues with Joe Budden, the Breakfast Club. And then how do you guys feel about Bobby Lights and um, Reginald Saunders coming for Nikki and blasting her and saying that she treated Trina wrong? And do you agree with me that that initial tweet that Trina put out there was a shot at Nicki Minaj and Meg Thee Stallion and their collaboration and stuff like that? Because again, it's funny that she put that out there and then literally what, two days later, her cousin and her a &R person are, you know, going off about the situation. So I definitely feel like there was a lot of things said behind the scenes. But Trina's trying to, you know, throw rocks and hide her hands for now because she doesn't want it to, like, really blow up into something horrible. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.